everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a mixed media piece. I have some different um, alcohol inks that I've gotten. These are from Tim Holtz. They are Ranger inks and they're called Alloy. It is a really um, metallic-y color. I did some color swatches with a few different ones and they just turned out beautifully to test them out. Um, so I have my alcohol ink and then I also have my acrylic paint um, mixed with my really thin pouring medium that I used for airbrush pours. For my pouring medium, it's acrylic flow medium from uh, Mon Mart. When I'm using it with thinner paint, the Joe Sonia paint is really nice and thin. Um, I don't use any water. So I have my purple matter and my uh, titanium white. These are both Joe Sonia paints. The alloy color that I'm using is called Statue. It's kind of like a bronze color and I also have gold, but I think this color is gonna look better with the purple that I'm using. I also have my airbrush. Um, I have it set at 40 PSI. That one works well for me for the style and design that I like to get with this technique. I was inspired by this piece. I do the blues and white a lot. I really like the way that um, this style turns out. I added silver to this one in a few areas, and this was with the Mayron um, mica pigments, that's actually makeup. So I wanted to try something different since I found these different types of alcohol inks. I wanted to see how well these turn out with um, an airbrushed pour, just because I really enjoy doing them. Similar to my blue one, I want more purple and just a little bit of white and then uh, my ink in a few places. So I'm just going to start pouring and adding my ink and then see what I can do with um, the airbrush. And I think I have enough paint to really get some nice dark areas in here. And now we're just gonna start using our airbrush. Now I'm going to start adding in some of my ink and I'm gonna blow this around a little bit more. Like the way that that looks. The airbrush broke up those um, really dense areas nicely, so I'm going to add some more.
So I think I'm gonna leave this and see how it dries. I think especially after some resin, this would really pop. Um, I think you could also take a paintbrush and just gently move in some areas and always add some more. Um, but I do like the way that this looks. I, hopefully it'll dry nice. Um, I tried to blow off a few areas that got a little muddy, um, but overall, I really like it. Um, this purple is beautiful. It's um, one that I've used a lot previously. I haven't used it lately because I was using it so often, but I hope you guys like this one. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below if you like the addition of the alcohol ink. I think it's just fun to um, play around with different mediums and really see how they work with each other. And this one so far is probably one of my favorites compared to others that I've put in paintings before. Um, so hopefully it dries nice, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. I do put out a few videos a week and I will see you all in the next one.